Hello, this is Moses Woodson from MP Designs. And we're often asked, how do you turn corners with square posts? And we're gonna show you today how we turn a corner with a square post. I think the square posts uh, are, are more clear cut looking than the round posts. And I think they add a little bit of dimension to a, to a plain fence. So what we're gonna do, we've pre-marked our posts at 42 inches. This is gonna be a five strand high tensile fence. And we're using a five by five treated post so what we're gonna do we've marked it at 42 inches we're gonna bring our post up on each end and as you can see we're going downhill a little bit so we're gonna mark our posts on the inside and then across our posts and what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us an angle we're gonna cut this side first then we're gonna put it put it against this post and then we're gonna cut the other side so we've cut the end of our post on the other end. Turn around and look at that one. And that gives us our angle coming down the hill. Now we're gonna mark the other side of our corner, which is gonna give us our angle on the lower side. Go ahead and mark that. So this gives us our angle coming downhill. Then we're gonna put the square against the post and mark across the top of the post. This is gonna give our angle coming down and our angle in the corner. This fence turns here. So we're gonna take and cut this one and then put it in place. When we're assembling a corner or a brace, uh, we use a 10 inch Ollie. They're called Ollies or uh, timber locks. Um, they're threaded on one end. They're a very aggressive thread. They have a 5 16 inch uh, hex drive on the other end. Um, you do need at least an 18 volt drill to, to drive one in, but we're gonna drive one in now. It's gonna get kind of loud, but just stay with us. And it, it works very well for holding these braces together. Go ahead. So as you can see, we have five inches through our post and five inches into our brace. Uh, this, this is plenty enough to hold this, this brace in place once we get the wire on it. Now, if you're concerned about, say, it, it, it might break or it might uh, take and sag over time, you could put two in there. But these are used to hold log cabins together. They place them at about every 16 inches and you can pull a log that's bowed with a considerable bow in it you can pull it down. So these are very strong and it eliminates having to put a bracket on your post system uh, and, and put nails. This just takes and comprises everything down to, compacts everything down to one item instead of nails and a bracket. And then you have to worry about your nails rotting your post out. So five inches through our post, five inches into our brace. It works very well. Okay, so here we have our brace it's an additional brace that we just built and as you can see we have pretty good tight um, angles against our post this post is turning this way turning up the hill this way this one was almost straight this one here had a little bit more bend to it and you can do this if you're if you're drawing a circle you just get your your post into the center on your circle and then you just cut your angles accordingly following the steps that we've laid out um, as you can see, it looks, it looks pretty nice. You've got a, a good flush outside and it's, it's breaking in the corner. Once we get our wire on, this is a really good stout corner. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring you some additional footage of us installing these, uh, to end us up. So thanks again for stopping by. Remember to like and subscribe.